Oh, isn't it lovely? A worthy cause, folks. A worthy cause. Thank you. You're welcome. You've done a great job, Marjorie. Only the beginning, only the beginning. <laughs> it really is great, Marjorie. I don't see how you did it all by yourself. Why, it's very simple. Bill Weatherby loaned me his backyard theater. I brought the gang over from college. Talent. You made everybody buy tickets, finance. Result, the community chest will be very happy. <laughs> I was going on. I'd better go. Will you excuse me? Surely. Surely. Miss Blaze. Hi, Rudy. Boss Gal in? She ain't out. But you are, Gabby Whitaker. Unless you pay to get in. Show's on me, fellas. Want you to meet Rosie McGurk. How do you do? Before she bowed a tendon and got soft in the wrong places, she was a right good rodeo hand. We've heard a lot about you. No one's ever equaled the fame of Ref Riding Rosie McGurk. Why, I was riding steers when you was breaking rocking horses, Sonny. What's your billing? Roy Rogers. These are the sons of the pioneers. Please Our tell pioneers. you. How do you do? Professional etiquette calls for me to bid you welcome. Yeah. Dig down, Gabby. That'll be two dollars a piece for the boys and five for you. Nineteen dollars? You know this here's a charity benefit. Come on, put up and shut up. The refreshment table's yonder, boys. Go on over and cool off. Thank, Thank you. you. How come you had even changed? Oh, I know they are going to get hooked. I've been to these things before. That's Marjorie's number. So sweet that I repeat means I adore you. Amor, amor, amor. Would you deny this heart that I have placed before you? And another word with meaning so clear My lips try to whisper sweeter things in your ear But somehow or other Nothing sounds quite so dear As this soft caressing word I know
Marjorie, you were wonderful, That's wonderful. Fine. That's my boss gal. Gee, I didn't know anyone could sing so good and be so pretty all at the same time. And she's smart as a trick pony, too. Why, she just finished graduating as a full-fledged Bachelor of Art. Really? I wonder if that much book learning is harmful. Oh, if I know Frank Madden, I don't figure she'll be a bachelor long. Excuse me. Hello, Gabby. Hi, boss gal. Sorry I'm late and missed my boss. Never would have got here if Rogers or six other fellas hadn't toted me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not six other fellas, so you must be Rogers. That's right, Miss Brooks. Roy, meet Frank Madden. How are you? Howdy. I always enjoy your show, Mr. Madden. It's good. Thanks. Roy's greed put on a nag for your little shindig tonight. Well, um, I appreciate your willingness, Mr. Rogers, but I'm afraid a display of horsemanship would hardly fit in. Well, we wasn't aiming to stomp down your grass. <sighs> hey, boy, oil up your musical tools. Do to give the customers a treat. Gabby, the program is all arranged. Shh. What kind of jigging do you call that? That's a ballet of wood nymphs. They ain't wearing enough clothes to flag a hand car. You see, Mr. Rogers, our performance is cultural rather than rugged. Well, I hardly think we'd fit into a setup like that. Well, you're all very welcome as guests. Guests? Guess my eye. I paid $19 to get through that turnstile. Well, then watch the ballet. You'll get your money's worth. I'd just as soon slide down a razor blade. <laughs> Gabby! Come on, fellas. We'll go camp under a hedge till this cultural clam baker over. <laughs> Now, for my own edification, I'll take $19 worth of your best. <laughs> okay. This is the command performance, boys. Swing your partner to the right. Swing her back and hold her tight. Swing her far into the night. That's the cow po po do si do and promenade to some other little maid. Swing her once and then you trade. That's a cow poke poke of. One little bird in a three reel pen. The bird hops out and the crow hops in. Chicken in the bread pan picking out dough. The crow hops out and away you go. Circle late and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's a cow poke poke of. Pen. The bird hops out, the crow hops in. Chicken in the bird pen, picking out dough. The crow hops out, no way you go. Circle laid and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's a cow poke poke. I'll run up and pick up our playing dates from Weatherby. Then we'll head back to the ranch. I'll go with you. Oh, 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 book on the rodeos. Gabby's busy. Yeah, you stay here. I'll be back to Jiffy. Now, Gabby, that's silly. If I'm going to help run the Brooks Rodeo, I want to learn all the angles. Well, you can. Once we get back to Santa Fe. Oh, sure. Let Gabby be the errand boy. Besides, it ain't important. Isn't. I'm glad you agree with me. Sit down. <laughs> oh, can't linger. Boss gal's waiting bag and baggage, spending her summer on the ranch. You ought to do something about Marjorie's spending, Gabby. Oh, I couldn't spoil her last year in college with worry. Just because the show had a couple bad seasons. You expect to make enough to pull you out of the hole this year? You book me solid and I'll do her. Come on, haul out them playing dates. I haven't got any dates, Gabby. 
I couldn't book you. I guess I will set a spell. You... You ain't meaning the state fair. Oh, no, you still got that contract. Can't live a whole year on the fair show and alone. I... I don't understand, Bill. You mean you ain't got no other dates at all? That's right. They just don't want your show. I'm sorry, old man. I ain't old. Maybe sagging a little, need my whiskers trimmed. You've not only got whiskers on your chin, but they're on your business methods, too. Are you telling me my judgment's got whiskers on it? I'm trying to tell you that Frank Madden's worldwide rodeo has stepped out ahead of you. He's kept up with the times. He signed up the top attractions while you've been content to plot along with the same old show. The same old show? Why, the Brooks International name and reputation alone. It won't go, Gabby. Why, you even let Roy Rogers and the Sons of Pioneers slip between your fingers. Madden signed them up, too. Ah, singers ain't got no place in the rodeo. Oh, now, let's face it, Gabby. Your show needs new blood. Now, why don't you talk it over with Marjorie? Maybe she can... I ain't telling Margie none of this. I'm putting the Brooks International back on its feet, Madden or no Madden. I'll be back in there splitting leather with the best of them. If I have to split a rib getting it done. No visitors, huh? Guy means it, too. Take a look at that gate. Try the phone. Hello, operator. Maybe I need a nickel for this thing. What do you want? I'm not talking to you. Oh, I get it. Get what? Get what? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to tell you it's your gate's locked. It's always locked. Who are you? My name's Shug. Who are you? Never heard of you. Beat it. You hear plenty of me, mister. Me and Roy Rogers and the rest of the boys, we're down... Oh, you're with Rogers. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, you didn't ask me. That's why. You probably open it here directly. Watch me show him how to use it. Chug, come back here. so I can let go. What's going on down there? They're kicking up a fuss with your stock. Who are they? That bunch of crooners you've been expecting. Hi, Mr. Madden. We didn't mean to give ourselves an entrance like that, but... A good hand would realize those are valuable stairs. Fellows like Suge here don't come cheap either. You men were engaged as singers, so keep that in mind. We don't mind chirping a few tunes, but riding's what we're here for. Yes, well, I've got riders and good ones. If you men want to work for me, you'll have to stick to my rules. You're here as singers and only as singers. Is that clear? Clear enough. How about it, boys? Well, let's well, go. Let's go. Well, we're well, wasting time. What do you think, Trigger? <coughs> that makes it unanimous. You stick to your rules, Mr. Madden, and we'll stick to ours. Come on, boys. I'm expecting Miss Brooks for lunch. I'll be over to Corral. 
Well, that was short season, wasn't it? Sure was. Well, hello, Mr. Rogers. How do you like the Madden Ranch? I don't like it. A lot. And what's wrong with it? Madden. One man's opinion? No, mine and six other fellows. Has it ever occurred to you that all seven of you might be wrong? I don't want to be rich as Rocky Feller. I don't want to own all of the land. For I'm a happy guy in my Levi britches and my coat of pan. I don't want to grow old as Methuselah. I just want to stay young as I can. For I'm a happy guy in my Levi britches and my coat of pan. I don't own much that you buy in stores, but I've got a sky that's sunny. And I own a deed to the great outdoors. It didn't cost me money. You can have all your riches and your sorrow. I just want to stay broke as I am. For I'm a happy guy in my Levi britches and my coat of tan. I don't want to be rich as anybody. All I'm needing is something to eat. For well, there's a hungry guy in my Levi britches and I'm getting free. I don't own much that you buy in stores, but I've got a sky that's sunny, and I own a deed to the great outdoors. It didn't cost me money. You can have all your riches and your sorrow. I just want to stay broke as I am, for I'm a happy guy in my Levi bridges and my cold out hands. Does anybody know where we're going? I don't care, just as long as it's in the direction of a beef stew. <laughs> well, you had about 1,400 pounds of it in your hand, Shug. <laughs> it had me. <laughs> Slow down, Roy. Three-fourths miles to the Brooks Ranch. Brooks Rodeo, boys. Visitors welcome, Gabby Whitaker, manager. on your way to Madden? Been there and back. Had a little run-in with him. With Madden? Yep. Good for you. He is without a doubt the orneriest critter I... How'd you get out of there, Trigger? You all right? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, sort of a horse you got here, son. Not bad, is he? Of course, I ride him in any show that I work with. Oh, sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, E. Bob. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see you, boy. Now, I'm feller quick to act. No rodeo material when to see it. Horse or man. Sure you've cut clean with Madden? Yes, sir. My mind's made up. You fellas got a job. Well, well, well good, 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 Daddy. Well. You get what you earn, including pride. That suits me. How about you, Trigger? <laughs> well, <laughs> guess that settles it. All right with you boys? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Done? Done. Just show you fellas what I think of you. I'm going to stable that magnificent specimen of horse flesh myself. Going to water him, rub him down with chamois. Then I'm going to put him in a great big box stall with an open window. You know, so he'll get the cooling breathing. <laughs> oh, by the way, how does he like his oats? Now. I see. <laughs> oh, I mean plain or soaked in buttermilk. Add a sprinkle in the sugar and I'll eat them myself. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that trailer in the carriage house. When you get done, there'll be meat on the table. That's the first honest talk I've heard today. <laughs> The 65th book of Little Nugget, The Miner's Child. This is station W.A.K.T. Gabby. Your announcer, Marty Mason. Gabby, I want to talk to you. 
Not now. Little Nuggy snowed under a landslide. With only her neck sticking out. The fool manager of her mind didn't tell her it was crumbling. I can sympathize with Little Nugget. It's pretty much of a shock to find yourself up to your neck with things crumbling. Uh, now, honey, I, I, I gotta get to my books. Never mind the books, The books Kathy. is going to Quit sitting around in my lap. Keep that lasso around him, Rose. It'll I pin him down to the truth. Yeah, oh, doggone it. You got me all snarled up here. I'm in a worse shape, my little nugget. Our manager who didn't tell her. You been talking to that big mouth Frank Madden. Keep a tight rein on him, Rosie. Hey, uh, pay no mind to him. He's, uh, he's, he's just hired Ace and Sandy. Slacky line, Rosie. Take a reef in your belt, Gabby. I'll stand by in case of a spill. Maybe I ain't just exactly confided in you, but you're just naturally too pretty to get all messed up in trouble. Oh, Gabby, you're letting me go spending all this money on a college education and and wood nymphs. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. When a good writer gets thrown, he don't sit. He gets up. Yes, he does, boss gal. He gets up, dusts off the seat of his pants, and climbs back in the saddle. That's what Top Hand does. Have we got a saddle? I know we haven't got any top riders left. I just hired Seven Head. The ridingest, brockingest, bustingest. And the eatingest. I got cook feeding the whole parcel of them out in the kitchen, and the only one that didn't act as if food was a novelty was Roy Rogers. Do you mean to say you hired that bunch of crooners, Gabby? Why, they got muscles made out of steel springs and ribs made out of whalebone. It'd be more at home in a soda fountain. Oh, excuse me, I was just going out... Oh, never mind that now. Come on down and get acquainted. Well, thanks. Well, son, did you eat your fill? We sure did, Miss McGirt. Hello, Miss Brooks. Hello. I think we're going to like it here. It takes a great weight off my mind. My cow, where have you been sitting? At Frank Madden's. I found it a little dirty over there, too. Mr. Madden is thoroughly qualified to engage whom he pleases for whatever he pleases. You were employed as singers. Maybe you're prejudiced. I still say we're a riding outfit. Go on over to the bunkhouse. Pick yourself out of bed. One with southern exposure. Yes, <laughs> we want you to feel right at home. Yes. Thanks. Maybe I will when I get used to the uh, climate. Singing bronc buster. Ouch! That's to take the frost off the edges. Come on. How do you think he'll fit in the Brook Show? Oh, Gabby, he's a beautiful animal. Trigger, meet the boss gal. <laughs> <laughs> he's our new drawing card. Oh. Going to build a whole new show around him. How did you ever get him? And what did you use for money? What I still got plenty of, showmanship. What else, you old sharpshooter? Well, Trigger belongs to Roger, so I hired him and his six Philly Lou birds. And... Mm -hmm. And you got Trigger and seven new names on our payroll, hmm? Who said anything about them being on our payroll? I got some mighty definite ideas about their chores. Look at that. See what it says? Featuring the Brooks International Rodeo. You know, we've been playing the state fair for 20 years straight now. That's almost a tradition. Most important date in the state. That's Madden. Give me the right leg to get it. Come on. Well, that's the radio station. What are we doing here? Never mind. I'll tell you later. Come on, boy. I tell you, little nugget, in all the 43 years I've been in this country, it's the worst blizzard we've ever had. But we'll win through, child. Mush, mush. I always feel safe when I'm with you, Klondike. Ah, oh, you're a fine child. <gasps> What's the matter, child? I... Ah, uh, you can't... you can't see it. But standing betwixt us and our haven of safety is a ferocious timber wolf. Oh! <sighs> oh, what a fate. Will little nugget win through to safety? Or will the wolf tear her limb from limb? 
Listen tomorrow for the 14th episode, 39th chapter, 365th book of Little Nugget, The Miner's Child. Brought to you each day by the Medley Market Company, the distributors of Yum Yum Yummies, Good for Tender Tummies, A Dish of Joy for Your Girl or Boy. Buy them at the Medley Market. This is station WAKT, your announcer, Marty Maisley. And now, a brief musical interlude. Well, what do you want, Windbang? I got something for you, Marty. All I want out of you is a little quiet. Oh, I got something better than that. I thought we was in the rodeo business. What are we doing here? Well, Gabby figures on using our singing. Just for a while, though, he says. <laughs> you believe everything that old coot hands you? We might as well play along with him and see what comes up. Just, uh, who are you playing along with? Him or little filly name of Margie? Now, don't get nosy, bud. <laughs> I don't want any cowboys. Well, they just look like cowboys. They're really singers. Gabby, I got a whole cabinet full of singers. Oh, you ain't got none as good as them, fellas. Now, will you get out of here? Oh, yeah. now, look, Mark. Look, look, you're missing a chance. Ladies Gabby. and gentlemen, this is station W-A-K-T. Look, the you can have them for cost. I'm on the air. I, I know, beg but... your pardon, ladies and gentlemen. I got them under personal contract. Will you... you can have them for half price. Will you get out? Oh. There's my program. Oh, dear. ladies and gentlemen, I think there's a news broadcast just coming in. I hope that... Will you just hold on for a second? Thank you. Come on and throw away your troubles, cast them to the moon, and sell all your worries for free. Cause there's a great day coming, can't you hear them all hum? And it's a cowboy jubilee. If you've got lots of leisure, time, and nothing else to do, and want to be happy as me, just grab your hat and get your boots on. Pretty soon we'll be long gone to the Cowboy Jubilee. Just hear that cowboy band a-playing. You know your blues won't mean a thing when you get in the swing. Say a cowboy's life is for me. Soon all your cares you'll be shedding, and like me you'll be heading to the Cowboy Jubilee. Honey, oh, look, oh, 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 You know your blues won't mean a thing when you get in the swing. Say a cowboy's life is for me. Soon all your cares you'll be shedding, and like me you'll be heading to the cowboy jubilee. Cowboy jubilee. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And now, will all the ladies with blue eyes and wearing pretty print dresses step up here to the microphone, please? You? I've got a print dress on. Oh, it's all that I have, too. Well, thank you, ladies. It's plain to see you're very pretty, but I'm looking for those with blue eyes. There's one. Oh, Margie. 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 Good morning, Margie. Don't mind me calling you by your first name on this program, but would you mind stepping up here a minute? Go, go on, Margie. Be a sport. Go ahead. Then I'll step down there. Uh, would you care to answer a few simple questions? Are you going to ask them? Only me. And I'm sure they'll be simple. <laughs> First question. As a shopper, would you condemn a can of corned beef if you'd never heard of the brand before? Yes, I would. If I found it was all corn and no beef. <laughs> you see, folks, she's just as bright as she is pretty. And what a smile she has. Just like the sun breaking over the mesa after a thunder squall. Thank you. And with an answer like that, Margie, you're entitled to 12 years of shiny golden corn compliments of the Medley Market. Why, well, I'm not finished yet. You see, Margie, this program is cultural, and that's where you shine. Folks, I was just about to announce that Miss Marjorie Brooks had graciously consented to sing a song. Oh, no. But I guess she's lost her nerve. Just a minute. I'm wrong, folks, I'm wrong. I believe she's changed her mind. Shine half as bright as your eyes, and the customers will think you're terrific, too. Did you ever break a shoelace when you were in a hurry? Did you ever fail to mail an urgent note? 
And were you aggravated? Well, you know just how I feel. Cause someone here has really got my goal. I wonder who that could be. The nerve of some people. The nerve of some people. Acting just like they know it all. Of all the nerve. The nerve of some people. The nerve of some people. You're really riding far a fall. Oh, I don't think so. Of all the nerves, you may think that you're clever, but brain work is not your long suit. And if I never see you again, I... You know you're kind of cute. Well, the nerve of some people, the nerve of some people. Say, by the way, when will I see you again? Are you kidding? All the nerves. The nerve of some people, the nerve of some people. Can't take a joke when the joke's on you. Well, of all the nerves. The nerve of some people. The nerve of some people. That's what I say. You'll never make friends acting like you do. Of all the nerves. I guess I know my own mind, and I do have a mind of my own. I doubt that. It's me against the world, it seems. But it's no fun being alone. The nerve of some people. The corrupt of some cowboys. Oh, let's shake hands and be friends again, huh? Of all the nerve. You don't mean it. Yes, I do. Oh, but you couldn't mean it. Well, I think I do. Oh, let's forget it, huh? Not on your life. The, the nerve, nerve of some people. people. Where you fellas been? Chow's been waiting for an hour. Go on in and get it. Soon we wash up. Tell Margie to wait for us. Margie's at and gone. Gone? Where? Silver Lake with Frank Madden. She's a pretty brave girl, isn't she? I'll give Trigger some oats and be right in. She rode Trigger. Well, wait a minute, Gabby. Using my horse for taxi service wasn't part of our deal. Bob, drive me over to the lake, will you? Bring Margie back with me. Madden can attend to that. I'm rounding up Trigger. Well, the boss gal's important, too. We wouldn't like to lose her to Madden, and he had a mighty proposing look in his eye when they left. You just gotta bring her back, Roy. Well, I'll see what I can do. But mainly, I'm going after a valuable horse. You're darn tootin'. Bring him back, son. How am I doing this time? <laughs> Beautifully, Frank. Only don't spoil it now by promising to count the gate receipts if I marry you. I'm afraid there won't be any. Gabby hasn't any playing time outside of the state fair. There I go again, mixing business with romance. I'm sorry, but I did get it straight from Weatherby. First Gabby hires those wandering minstrels you discarded, then he fools me into believing he could build a show around Trigger. And all the time he knew we didn't have any bookings. Why not share mine, combining the Brooks Madden show, now and uh, for the rest of your life? You're really offering me solid bookings, aren't you? <laughs> Drive the car back, Bob. I'll ride Trigger. Maybe Trigger can persuade you. Come on, Trigger. You're fired, do you hear? Fired! All right, but I can't let my job go undone. 
Gabby gave me orders to escort you home. Gabby's orders. I'm not moving another foot until I find Frank Madden. Well, I don't have any orders about him. Service trigger. Well, there's no use in both of us walking. Oh, Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure. But he isn't half as ugly as a girl can be. And for your information, he's real transportation. How's about a ride with me? Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure. But he's easy riding saddles like a rocking chair. And if you're tired of walking, you'd better do some talking. He won't charge you any fare. Tramp. Tramp down the dusty trail Till you get the gal Tramp, tramp, tramp over hill and dale Soon you'll tuck her out Old Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure But he's nice and kind and gentle as a horse can be He can carry a stubble, it isn't any trouble And we're needing company, so How's about a ride for free? Give up? Well, <laughs> oh, come on. Roy, Margie. Well, Gabby, I found your stray. Look at that. Have we got us a date? Is this something else you dreamed up, Gabby? You know we haven't any date for the state fair. Uh, that's what you think. That's what I know. Frank told me. Mm, one time he told wrong. Have booked your show, One Day Stand, Albuquerque, Wednesday. Best can do so far, but other dates possible if this performance warrants. Good luck, Bill Weatherby. What do you think of that, huh? It's too late. I'm selling out to Frank Madden. I'm closing the deal on Saturday, Gabby. You don't really mean that. You're all that's left to the Brooks name, and you can't quit now. Won't you give us another chance? Gabby's right, Miss Brooks. At least let us play the Albuquerque date. I'm sure that'll convince you. All right, Gabby. Go ahead. You've got till next Saturday. Thanks, boss gal. I'll go call Weatherby right now. Good night, Roy. Good night, Margie. Nice work, son. <laughs> and they've been figuring you for just a singer. Well, we'll show them. Why, you even spied me. You think we'll please the folks in Albuquerque? Please them? They ain't never seen nothing like it. Neither have I. Uh, Roy, do you, you smell something burning? Something like somebody burning with envy? Uh, howdy, man. Hello, boys. You look pretty bad, Mr. Madden. Did you have a tough night? As a matter of fact, I did. I, uh, I've been thinking a lot about you today, Rogers. There's something else for you to think about. Well, how about it? Think I got myself a show? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll, uh, talk to Weatherby and see if I can't find some place for you to play. Well, that's downright decent of you, Mr. Madden. But the Brooks Rodeo already has a date. We're playing Albuquerque Wednesday. Roy, let's leave my pass, the box office. Do him good to see a real show for a change. Hey, Roy! Here's your rolling bathtubs all hitched and ready. Well, thanks, Shug. You, uh, you going to drive one of those? Thinking about it. But you might get hurt. You know, uh, you can't strum one of those like you do a guitar. Thanks for the tip. 
Maybe, uh, maybe I'd better take the other one and uh, kind of show you the way. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Now, wait a minute. We ain't racing, we're practicing. Skip it, Gabby. Come on. Roy, I wish you wouldn't do... It's all right, Gabby. I'll take him over our Pony Express run. If you get lost, just follow those flags. Give us a start, Gabby. Ready? Go! Somewhere near Blackford Falls. Looks like we're on our way, Gabby. Yes, sir, boy. This is the life, Roy. Wagons rolling, good show ready to play, camping for a meal, and then the crowd. The crowd's filling the bleachers. Did you straighten it out with Margie? Oh, we don't want no women on this trip. She'll be along tomorrow with Rosie. Wait till she sees the show. Ha! Huh. Come Saturday, she won't sell the Madden or nobody else. Got his briefcase. I'll give it to him. Good luck. See you tomorrow. We're all set, Gabby. Say, are we going straight through without a stop? Tired of the stop? I should say not. We'll camp at nightfall. Give him a little rest, then get going around midnight. Well, come on. Let's keep rolling so we can catch up. When 
the night seems to cover all From the hill you'll see them shining See the lights of old Santa Fe Evening breeze blows the leaves around While the brook lends a gentle sound And this cowboy's heart is pining For the lights of old Santa Fe For maybe when the roundup's over And I find I'm fancy free There's a chance I'll be in clover If a certain miss is waiting there for me If a The place where I left my heart Cause I'll find my silver lining In the lights of old Santa Fe That's right, pretty singing, Roy. I wish you could hear me when I was a young guy. What's wrong with them hogs? Look, it's triggered. Hey, there's something burning yeah, down there. Far them. Come here. What's the matter, boy? What do you think, Jim? We'll never make Albuquerque. That's a cinch. It'll take all day tomorrow to round up the stock. I found this around Trigger's neck when he came running into me. Do you know anyone who throws a rope like it? Rawhide ain't used much anymore. Well, somebody uses it, and I'm going to find out who it is. Yeah. Somebody that don't want our competition. Somebody along the lines of Madden. I'll fix him in his... Take it easy, it... Gabby. We can't prove a thing yet. Yeah, but he sure done a good job of it. The ornery. Coyote. Roy, 
Our shows are gone. We're still going to play Albuquerque. Uh, yep. Have you lost your buttons? We ain't got no more chance to... Hey, wait a minute. You got something in mind? Maybe I have. What are you figuring on? I'm riding back to that last town. I'm going to make a telephone call. Bells, bells, but not in time. Little Nugget jumps out of the burning building and grabs the little puppy in her arms. This is Station WAKT, Marty Maisie speaking. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I was... Hello, Roy. Hello. Well, wait a minute. Just a minute, Roy. <laughs> I, I was kind of sleep. Hello, Roy. I... Huh? Oh, I... Oh, no, I couldn't do that, Roy. Oh, no, Roy, well, that equipment, I, I couldn't... Well, I know you did, but but that... Oh, you... All right. All right, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, oh, well, don't worry about that, because I bring my own car, see? That'll handle... Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's all right, Roy. Sure. Okay. Goodbye, fella. Oh, nice guy. Oh. Be bashful, Rosie. Go on, take one. Thanks. Mr. Maisley, it's so nice of you to drive us to Albuquerque. Oh, that's all right. I mean, there was no use taking two cars. And besides, I want to see the show myself, don't I? And it's the only way... That we, I mean, why don't you have an apple? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Mr. Maisley, are you sure this is the way to Albuquerque? Well, it's a short of a shortcut. Uh, a sort of a shortcut. I, I mean to say, it's a little bit quicker this way, I think. If we, uh, Are you sure you won't have an apple? It, it's... Stop, Mr. Maisley. I knew we were going the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcia. I don't know how that happened. I thought... Cut the gibber in Maisley and turn this buggy around. We can get there in time to see part of the show anyway. Yeah, well, all right. Marjorie, would you drive, please? Because I get nervous. I can't drive fast, and I'm nervous now anyway. And I... I, I... I don't know how it happened. I haven't got a very good sense of direction. What's wrong? We're not out of gas. Uh, I don't know. It, it never did this before. I like horses better myself. Not so many gadgets on them. Yeah. Well, I, I bought the car from a traveling salesman, and, and often, I, I, but it never has done this before. I... I don't understand it. Distributor, carburetor, wiring, everything's fine. I, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't... We'll never see the show now. No. But we can listen to it. Could we? Well, of course we can. Station WAKT never lets its public down. It's the grand entry. The grand entry of the Brooks International Show playing here in Albuquerque. Yes, sirree. This parade looks mighty good to this cheering from. And here they come. The chuck wagons and chariots. All the rolling stock you need to give you an idea of the thrills in store for this mighty throng here today. Yes, indeed, folks. Yes, indeed. You ought to be here. Everything is done. Now, to start things off nice, put the crowd in a mellow mood, we're going to begin with a little tune by those boys without equal and song or action. Presenting the Sons of the Pioneer. You're off, Bob. I'll take over the sound effects. I hope you know what you're doing, Roy. Get over there! Cowboy, king of the 
a plane so big and wide Sinks your saddle upon the height of a wild horse Cowboy, cowboy King of the range and rodeo You are bound to get in the door if you ride them Cowboy, there's bronx and bulls are plenty You're waiting at the shoot The roughest kind you'll ever find And tougher than a boot Cowboy Grab your seat and set them tight. The riding's rough, but the pay is right if you ride them. Cowboy. For every Bronco Buster, there is money in the bag if you can ride them. Cowboy. So get your rigging ready and grab yourself an egg. Come on and try to ride them, cowboy. Cowboy. King of the plains, so big and wide, sinks your saddle upon the height of a wild horse. Cowboy. Cowboy, king of the range and rodeo, you are bound to get in the door if you ride them. Cowboy, there's bronks and bulls are plenty, you're waiting at the shoot. The roughest kind you'll ever find and tougher than a boot. Cowboy, grab your seat and set them tight, the riding's rough but the pay is right if you ride them. Cowboy, ride them, cowboy. Did you hear that crowd cheering? Yeah, yeah, it sure sounds like Gabby's built your great show all right, all right. <laughs> he sure did. A crowd doesn't cheer like that for nothing. Oh, today Albuquerque, then the State Fair, and then Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh. How are you coming in there, Rosie? Keep your shirt on. We'll call you when we're ready. Man, that smells good. Hurry up, Marty. Boy's hungry. That means you're hungry. Now, look here, Gabby. This is a celebration. I'm not just cooking these spare ribs. I'm giving them loving care. <laughs> I'm going to be more careful with our show, too, after the way it went over at Albuquerque. Believe me, I'm not going to let that Bill Weatherby just throw any old playing date at us. Some flour, please. Well, I wouldn't turn anything down. From what I heard, we have a peach of a show. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some more acts. I'm going to add a little color and splash, and then New York. Sounded good, huh? Oh, terrific. I wish I could have been there to see you in action. Well, I may not have been so good, but I was sure busy. <laughs> Some salt, please. Salt? Mm-hmm. Yes, you were busy. And that's just the way you're going to be from now on. I'll ride any place with you. I've been on a detour, Roy, and I almost got lost. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Anybody's liable to get lost. Yes, but I've got my bearings now. Well, good. Where do we go from here? Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden? Yes, that's the rodeo paradise. Oh, oh yeah. Um, uh, sous -so pepper. A sous -so <laughs> Oh, pepper. Yes. Pepper. Achoo! Hold your breath and count to nine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? Can't you count? Not that far.
ever more to roam Just a shack, but we'll call it home And we'll find our silver lining In the lights of old Santa Fe There we'll stay and never more to roam Just a shack But we'll call it home And we'll find our silver lining In the lights of old Santa Fe Why, Gabby, I had no idea you could be so charming. You're fascinating yourself for an old war horse. Oh! <laughs> Come and get it, boy. Or I'll eat it myself. Is anybody home? Hold everything, we got company. I'll take it. Hello, Frank. Well, big you're just in time. We're celebrating. Anything in particular, Marjorie? Ooh, the performance at Albuquerque. It was out of this world. It must have been. I didn't see it. Bill, it was in Albuquerque yesterday. Uh, the arena in Albuquerque is kind of out of the way. Sort of hard to find. I found it all right, but you didn't. I got to see a fella about a bucking horse. Wait a minute, Gabby. This concerns you and Rogers. Where is he? Roy! Roy, will you step in here a minute, please? This concerns you, too, Rogers. What is it? You thought you were putting something over with that broadcast, didn't you? Oh, why, Mr. Weatherby, I heard every word of it. Every event described, just as if I were there. But you weren't, and neither was your show. If the object was to fool me, it failed. But Marjorie's just as much a victim of this fiasco as anybody. It makes no difference. The show carries her name. And it was a good one, too. This type of cheap trickery will never put a show on Madison Square Garden. Well, just a minute, Mr. Weatherby. I can explain what happened. The Brooks show still has everything you heard on the radio and more, too. The Don't boy's bother not... to explain. I should have listened to Frank. He told me we had no bookings. He also told me we had no show. He was right, and this proves it. Gabby, I thought the Brooks name meant something to you. But I was wrong. About that and a lot of other things. My offer still holds good. Thank you, Frank. You can do what you want with the stock and equipment. But without the Brooks International name and reputation. Wait a minute. We'll present our combined shows at the State Fair. Will that be all right with the association? That's a good idea. Or the scouts from Madison Square Garden will be there. We've got a lot of planning to do, Marjorie. Come on. Bill. Well, Gabby, I guess that lets us out. Reckon that makes our celebration a kind of a going away party. Sure wish you was going with us, Gabby. Can't, Roy. I can't leave Margie now, even if... Even if... Well... You know how it is. Yeah, I know. Better stick around for a piece of wedding cake, mister. I'll skip that. Well, Gabby. So long. Goodbye, Roy, and thanks. Thanks for... Well... Thanks. Sure is a big day for that, ain't it? Getting married, playing the state fair, everything happening at once. Yeah, it's a big day. A big day. Frank Madden proudly presents. He didn't lose any time, did he? Frank Madden. I'll be right back, boys. I want to say goodbye to Mason. That's what I mean. Anyone know who owns this horse? Yes, he belongs to a guy by the name of Ferguson. Thanks. Thanks a lot. 
Ferguson, huh? Drinks her own Madden, boys. Go in and have a drink. How about you, Tex? Have a little drink? It's called Madden. You see what I see? Bob! I'll explain this later, Bob. <laughs> What's got into you, Roy? Just common horse sense. Trigger and I have lost plenty of good jobs sticking to you guys. We'd have been with Madden Show right now if it wasn't for you. You're just excess baggage. Oh, Rogers. Hiya, Ferguson. Kind of like the way you handle yourself. Handle myself? I'm just beginning to find out what a sucker I've been. Back here. Back. Oh, boy. Come here. Heard you say something about Madden's show. How'd you like to join it, you and Trigger, alone? Who wouldn't? Is he really going daffy? No, 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 wait a minute. He's never gone daffy before. He sure got a daffy right, though. Well, you can forget about those guys. From now on, I'm riding without handicaps. Well, good. We'll meet Madden at the fairgrounds right after his wedding. Why can't we meet him at his ranch? Get things settled first. Be quite a feather in your cap, wouldn't it, to have Trigger there waiting for him? Yeah, Madden sure goes for that horse. Well, let's get started. Okay. I'll leave the car here and pick it up later. We'll take the hossie under road and cut off across country. We'll get there in plenty of time. You like to get things done in a hurry, don't you? Come on. Murphy's livery stable. Saddle horses for rent. Listen, Rogers. How about me telling Madden I talked you into bringing Trigger? Okay? Okay with me. Tell him anything you want. Thanks. I'll do you a favor some. What do they want? I don't know. We're not speaking. Listen, Rogers, if you... Don't ask me. We're not speaking either. If you guys think... They don't think, Ferguson. For example, I told the boys this morning that a rawhide expert like yourself is really a handy man with a lariat. Or sometimes rawhide break, like when you tried to rope trigger. Why, you... Look out, look out, look out, look out. Get him, Roy. 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 Get him, all he wants now is a nice, quiet, cool, shady place. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. If any person objects, let him speak now. Or forever hold his peace. Just a minute, Judge. I hate to interrupt, folks, but there's something Miss Brooks ought to know. They made me do it, boss. I tell you they... You wait outside, Ferguson. I'll talk to you later. It's no use, Madden. Do you mind reading this, Judge? It's important. I, Kenneth Ferguson, do solemnly swear that acting under the orders of my employer, Frank Madden, I deliberately damaged property of the Brooks International Rodeo, making it impossible for the show to play its date in Albuquerque. Signed, Kenneth Ferguson. Judge, you don't think that I would... Forget it. You're through. All right, Madden. Sure, if this is perfectly... Tell that to your lawyer. You're under arrest. Sam, take him along. Come on, Madden. Sorry to interrupt your gathering, folks. Hand me help here. Man's got to do his duty. Let's go out in the lawn, folks, and get a breath of fresh air. Yeah, go out and get a little soda pop. Oh, uh, Judge, thanks just the same. <laughs> well, expect to see you again so soon, son. Got here just in time, too. I'm sorry for Margie. Yeah, but it's such a sweet sorrow. Fine, send her in.
Hello, Bill. Marjorie, honey. I'm glad to see you. You know, I had quite a time finding you. I'm having quite a time finding myself, Bill. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Sit down, honey. No. We both got off on the wrong track for a while. I think we both want to do something about it, don't we? Yes, but what? What can I do? Well, you can listen. Now, I made a deal with Matt. I'm not interested in anything concerning Matt and Bill. Let's just forget it, shall we? Oh, Marjorie, now don't get excited. Sit down, please. I said, I have made a deal with Madden. I knew he couldn't run a business while in prison, so I bought his show, Lock, Stock and Barrel. How does that hit you? Fine. Congratulations. Oh, now keep that chin up. I know I favored Madden all along, but that's partly because it was good business. He had a better show. Yes. Partly because, well, I'm ashamed to say it, but I let Madden influence me against Gabby. That's like you, Bill, to take the blame on yourself. Let's face it. Gabby's old-fashioned ideas just let the show go to seed. All right, suppose the show is a little rusty. It isn't too late. Maybe it couldn't stand on its own two legs. But the name and reputation still have value. To whom? Well, to me. To all of us. The Brooks Weatherby combined shows. We'll use the state fair as a spot to try it out. And I wouldn't be at all surprised to end up in Madison Square Garden. How does that sound? Oh, Bill, that really sounds. Starring Roy Rogers and the Sons of the Pioneers. And... What's the matter? I guess you'd better forget it, Bill. I can't deliver. I haven't even got a show. Well, uh, Egbert, uh, how do you like the rodeo business? Oh, no, never stayed one place long enough to find out. Yep, 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 yep. What is it, Rosie? Golly, I got around at a time like this. Get to get me. Get to get what? The show, the show, the show. Look, Rosie, we've only got one show. What's the matter? Get it to the state fair. You better sit down and take a little rest. Give me a hand, Roy. Why? Yeah. I don't want to rest. Let me be. Here, Roy, read this quick. It's for Gabby. I know, but you read faster. It's for Marjorie. Dear Gabby, I'm returning the Brooks' name and reputation to you and to those who have proved they can care for it better than I. I know how much this state fair date means to you. If you hurry, you can still make it. Contact Weatherby immediately. Good luck, Margie. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. Where is she, Rosie? She packed and drove off. Well, I'll find her. I'll find her. Your job's to get that equipment rolling. Okay, but find her. Come on, boy. Well, get to get him. Oh!
your partner to the right. Swing her back and hold her tight. Swing her far into the night. That's the cow poke polka. One little bird in the three real pen. The bird hops out and the crow hops in. Chicken in the bread pan picking out dough. The crow hops out and away you go. Circle lane and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's the cow poke polka. Cowboy's heart is pining for the lights of home. 